My name is Moses. I am 12 years old. I live in Ogongada village, Eastern Uganda. I support Man U and I love to play football. But I don't want to be a footballer. I want to be a doctor. I see a lot of sickness in my village. Malaria, diabetes, HIV and AIDS. And I want to help people. My parents are not in the best of health. My mother is often ill with malaria and my father, a carpenter, is thin from diabetes. My parents have struggled to provide for us. Without mosquito nets, we have all caught malaria. When I have malaria, I am feverish and it makes me vomit. I am unable to do anything and miss school. With no livestock, we used to have one meal a day of cow peas. And at times, I have had so little to eat that my stomach and face swelled up as if I was fat. My father would cry in the night, asking God to give him the strength to provide for us. This situation is repeated all over my village, but things have started to change. TFM's church partner in Uganda is the Pentecostal Assemblies of God. With TFM support, our village PAG church is now training the community in ways to overcome poverty. It's a program that's changing the life of Moses and his family. The church works alongside people of all faiths across the community, helping them to understand their strengths and supporting them in prayer. We use the Bible to inspire people, to change their mindset, and help them realize the resources they already have and how they can be better used. Through the use of drama, we teach people that they shouldn't wait for others to solve their problems, but that they must use whatever resources they have. We have the resources to help ourselves. We just need help to see how. The church's training has changed my father's mind about our problems and encouraged him to become more productive. Now he's able to make savings. We have been able to buy mosquito nets and have two meals a day. We now farm more as a family and have afforded some livestock. Again, when produce is sold, my father put some money aside. At the moment, Termite eat over half of our harvest. My father is desperate to get a brick floor to stop termites entering from underneath. I am very proud of my father and the changes he has made in his life. He says that God has heard his prayers.